Alabama playing in its fifth stadium in five games, this time in front of 85,000 partisan fans and a national television audience. The Tide jumped out to a 7-0 first quarter lead when Mike Shula connected on this 19-yard touchdown pass to emerging star Al Bell to cap a 12-play, 81-yard scoring drive. Four Massimo Manka field goals moved Penn State to a 12-7 lead early in the fourth quarter. Crimson Tide place kicker Van Pippen answered with a 45-yard three-pointer with 8.26 remaining in the game to bring Alabama within two at 12-10. But it was Nittany Lion backup quarterback Matt Kisner subbing for the injured John Schaefer who found tight end Brian Sarveling alone in the end zone to give the Lions a 19-10 lead. Mike Shula then drove the tie to its second touchdown as he hit tight end Thornton Chandler. But Alabama's last-ditch effort to win came up just short. Penn State held on for a 19-17 victory. Coach Ray Perkins would say it was an impressive victory for a team that should go a long, long way this year. Prophetic words. Penn State finished undefeated, playing Oklahoma for the national championship.